So, what this particular video is about is how to decide for yourself if in fact the brand stuff is hitting the fan. Now, there are four pages that you should be looking at and I would suggest you look at them every other day or every day and the first one is this one www.wwfn.com slash crashupdate.html and bookmark this page because this will show you from a US standpoint for stock markets exactly what is going on now as you can see here they use a traffic light system and basically red is a crash alert yellow is it's not looking too good in those particular sectors and green is everything's okay now as you can see what we've got here is uh, yeah <laughs> not too good at the moment um, okay there's no reds but all the sectors apart from biotech and gold are not looking very good now were you to see a whole host of reds on here obviously that would be an indicator that there's probably a crash happening about to happening stroke go on um, and all the rest of it now over on the right here what you see is an indication of purchase and um, sales basically ack means lots of people are buying dist means lots of people are selling so at the moment lots of people are selling oil lots of people are selling real estate on a five day average so at the moment this is not looking too good but it's not yet a crash so this is a very useful page especially for those based in the United States and since the next crash is predicted to be worldwide here is another page www.nasdaq.com slash markets slash indices slash major dash indices dot ASPX and this shows the major stock market indices and it's worldwide a lot of it is NASDAQ um, and you've got Middle East and North Africa which isn't doing so well and um, so on and so forth Baltic doing reasonably well Copenhagen doing reasonably well and what you're looking for really is that all of these little arrows here which at the moment a lot of them show green although the values are going up very marginally in most cases you would see them all go red if you if there was in fact a worldwide um, crash which is what we're looking at and um, yeah there's some movement it's not terrific um, but most of it is positive which is quite a normal situation were you to see say half of these go red then there'd be cause for concern but the thing is that the stock market is only a part of the actual story because the other story is currencies and governments and to get that you need another page which is this one www.marketwatch.com slash investing slash index slash dxy and this is the US dollar index and basically the higher this line goes the stronger the dollar is against a bunch of other currencies you can look on Wikipedia to see what the current bunch of currencies is it's being compared to it's mostly against the euro um, there are some noises about making some changes to the basket of currencies to include Mexico and Brazil um, however that is yet to happen 
But this is a reasonably good broad index as to how well the dollar is doing. And as you can see, the dollar was doing pretty well up until February, March this year, and then it came under attack, and it's still under attack. It's still not doing anywhere near as badly as it was back in September of last year. Um, this is against other currencies though, and I have to have a word of warning here. And that is, if it's a global recession, all of the currencies are going to go down. So you have to kind of temper this optimism created by this graph by looking at the price of gold. Because the price of gold is a very good indicator as to the strength of a currency, or otherwise. And as you can see here, the price of gold, as we know, steadily dropped, 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 bottomed out, and is now on the rise. Now as the price of gold rises, the strength of the currencies is actually falling. So were gold suddenly say to spike up to $2,000, then you could say that in actual fact the value of the dollar has halved. So you have to look at all these things really. So what are you looking for to determine a crash? Well. What you're looking for to see if the shit really has hit the fan is a lot of reds on here, a lot of reds in this change column here, this to be either going down or to be flat, and the price of gold to be going up. And if that's the situation, then the world really does have problems. And this should enable you to see for yourself what the state of the world economy is at any given moment. It's quite simplistic, but it should work. And it might give you a day or two heads up before all the media sites turn around and say, oh, the world's collapsing and the sky is falling in. So, as I say, please bookmark these pages. I've got nothing to do with any of them. They're ones that I use, they're ones that I find useful. And um, yeah, if you find this useful, interesting, then please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all again soon.